Welcome to the 8th grade math homework helper series. Tonight's homework is review rounding. To get started we're going to review a couple of concepts. The first is weak numbers versus strong numbers. If you look at all the individual single digits that we have, 0 through 9, they can be broken into two sets, weak numbers and strong numbers. The weak numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the strong numbers are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We need to know that because it's important to be able to determine whether a weak number or a strong number is being used when we're rounding. The next thing we need to review is place value. And we need to know some very specific place values for this homework. So the first thing we need to know is where the ones place is. The ones place is always to the left of the decimal. The ones place can also be referred to as a whole number. If you're being asked to round to the whole number, you're being asked to round to the ones place. The other place values we need to know for tonight's homework are the tenths place, which is the first digit after the decimal, the hundredths place, which is the second digit after the decimal, and the thousandths place, which is the third digit after the decimal. All right, let's get started. For number three, we're being asked to round the number 65.937055 to the appropriate place value. So we're being asked to round to the whole number or the ones place, the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. We'll put the weak numbers and strong numbers up there so that'll help us to remember and we'll make this number a little bigger so it's easier to work with. Okay I have a box here and I'm gonna place this box and if you're doing this on your paper you can draw the box around the place value that I'm being asked to round to. So it will start with the whole number which is the ones. So I'm gonna put the box right here and then I have this line and the question, is it a weak or strong number? And that'll always go to the right of the number in the box. So in this case, I have a 9. And I need to ask myself, is 9 a weak number or a strong number? Well, a quick look up here indicates that 9 is a strong number. And if we're working with a strong number that we have the line under, that's going to take the digit here inside the box and push it up to the next highest spot. So a 5 would be rounded to a 6. Everything after the box, the, the underlined number and anything that followed it is going to disappear when we round. So that 5 is going to become a 6, or 66 in this case. Now we're being asked to round this same number to the tenths, which means I'm going to slide my square over the 9, and I'm going to slide this over to the right as well. And now I'm being asked to consider, is 3 a weak number or a strong number? Well, again, a look up here indicates 3 is a weak number. So that 9 is not going to change. Everything inside the box and to the left of it is going to stay, and everything to the right of the box is going to disappear. So this number rounded to the tenths is going to be 65.9. Now we're rounding to the hundredths. So everything gets slid down one place value. I now have a box around my 3, and I now have the 7 underlined. Is 7 a weak number or a strong number? Well, it's a strong number. So that means this 3 is going to get bumped up to the next highest value, which would be a 4, and everything after the box is going to disappear. So I now have 65.94. And the last rounding I need to do here is to the thousandths place, which means, again, everything gets shifted down. So I box the 7, and I underline the 0. Is 0 a weak number or a strong number? Well, obviously it's weak. So it's not going to affect this 7. It's not going to bump it up. It's going to leave it alone. So, And everything after this box is going to disappear. So my number rounded to the thousandths is going to be 65.937. The 0, 5, 5 are gone. All right, let's take a look at number 6 now. Number 6 is a bunch of 9s. And so we're going to start with the whole number. And I'm going to put my box around the whole number. And I'm going to underline the number to the right of that. OK, is 9 a weak number or strong number? Well, we can take a quick peek up here. 9 is the strongest of the strong numbers. So obviously, this 9 is going to bump this 9 up to a 10. And remember, everything after the box just disappears. So we're left with a 10. Now I need to round to the tenth, so just like before, everything is going to slide down one place value. But since we're dealing with nines and we know nine is strong, this nine is going to bump this nine to a ten. 
since we can't have two place two digits in one place value, that one is now going to shift over to here and bump this up to a 10. Remember, everything to the right of the 9 is going to disappear. But this actually changed to a 10. So the 0 stayed here. The 1 came over to here and bumped this to a 10. So because we're rounding to the 10th place, we need to show this 0 because the 0 is in the 10th place. You might see a pattern that is going to form as we work with hundreds and thousands because we're going to shift this over again and this. And we're going to play out the same idea. This 9 is going to bump this up to a 10. You can't have two digits in one place value. It's going to bump this up to a 10. You can't have two digits in one place value. It's going to bump this up to a 10. So we're going to have our 10 here. And these 9s simply became zeros. And lastly, as we move to the thousands place, same situation, but now we have an extra 9 to deal with. So this 9 being strong, bumps this to a 10, which gives this one to make it 10, which has to give this one to make it 10, which has to give this one to make it 10. So now we're going to have a 10 with three zeros following it. All right. The last one we're going to look at for today is question number 11. Same idea. And there's our weak numbers and strong numbers. And we're going to start by placing this square on the ones place for the whole number, which means I put this in the tenths place, right under that 8. So is 8 a weak number or a strong number? 8's a strong number. So this 2 is going to become a 3. So rounded to the nearest whole number, it's 43. Now we're going to round to the tenths, which means we slide everything down one place value. And that gives us an 8 in the box and a 9 underlined. Is 9 weak or strong? 9 is strong. So that 8 is going to get bumped up. So we're looking at 42.9. Once again, we're going to move to the hundreds place now. And we're going to slide this down. And this 9 is going to bump that 9 up to a 10. Remember from the last problem, when a 9 gets bumped up, it it's, keeps the 0, but it moves the 1 over. So that's going to become a 0. That 8 is going to bump up to a 9. And we're going to have 42.90. We need to keep the 0 just like before because we've been asked to round to the hundreds place, and that zero is in the hundreds place. Okay, last one we're going to do is rounding to the thousandths. So we put the box around the digit in the thousandths place. We underline the digit to the right of it. And so we're looking at a two, which is a weak number. It's not going to change that nine, which means nothing is going to get changed in here. So we're looking at 42.899. Please use the problems that were done for you tonight to help you to solve the additional problems that are on your homework. And remember, the key to success in math is not just working hard, but working smart.